Hello guys, today I unlock a secret for financial freedom. This is Solana's biggest competition and I am talking about Basechain. Check the Sol Base flows. Coinbase has easily the most market share of any major exchange in the United States. If crypto is going to be able to win in the United States, they are the major player. They take custody of BlackRock's assets, fight for the industry for decades, representing all of us, and they represent us where it matters most, in the United States court of law. Brian Armstrong and Jesse Pollack's new venture is set to change this industry forever. And I'm going to break down exactly why and how. So please grab a cup of coffee, turn your neurons on, because this is going to be a really, really good one. Riddled with the best quality word per second alpha you have ever listened to. And also some meme coin alpha at the end. So what exactly are we talking about? Base chain, optimistic roll-up solution for Ethereum. It offers scalability and lower fees. The integration of base chain with Coinbase will provide hundreds of millions of users with a seamless and perfect experience, improving transaction speeds and also cost effectiveness. This partnership has the potential to onboard over 100 million users to Ethereum-based dApps, driving mass adoption of blockchain technology through a user-friendly interface, connecting their app with Basechain. After this video, I'm going to give you the top eight projects to invest and for you to pay attention on base chain of which five are meme coins but first we need to understand how coinbase thinks so we can make the absolute best investments possible so what exactly is crypto good for according to coinbase number one digitizing the dollar despite high demand for the dollar in many regions around the world many cannot open us bank accounts and have access to the dollar and by digitizing the dollar via stable coins the entire world can now dollarize two fast cheap and global payments merchants are still losing about two percent on every credit card transaction and wire transfers may cost up to 30 bucks third a business model for all creatives via NFTs. And fourth, decentralized social media, which I'll be talking about at the end. So apps like Parcaster. So now that we understand how Coinbase thinks, let's go deeper into the reasons why. Number one, scalability. Ethereum's main scalability challenge is its limited transaction throughput. Optimistic rollups like Basechain alleviate this problem by bundling numerous transactions off-chain into the layer two. And then they bundle them and they submit them as a single transaction on the main chain, aka Ethereum. Reason two, lower fees. With increased scalability comes the potential for lower transaction fees. By aggregating all these transactions off-chain, base chain can reduce the congestion on the Ethereum mainnet. Three, improved user experience. By integrating base chain with the Coinbase app, users can now experience a seamless and efficient interaction with Ethereum-based dApps. Four, wider adoption. Coinbase is one of the most popular crypto applications in the entire world, especially in the United States. Five, mass adoption potential. Onboarding 100 million people into a blockchain platform is a monumental task, but platforms like Coinbase have the user base and the infrastructure to make all of this possible. By integrating base chain and offering a seamless user experience, Coinbase can significantly contribute to the mass adoption of blockchain technology. Here are the key metrics and the main statistics to keep all of this in mind. Over 100 million people used Coinbase in 2022. Coinbase had its largest year-on-year -year user growth from 2021 to 2022 when it grew by 92.8%. The quarterly trading volume peaked in Q4 2021 at 547 billion. So how high in this bull run will these numbers go? That's the question you and I should be asking. If you look at the stats, the Coinbase web traffic is mostly US driven with over 50% of the users being American. Now that we understand base chain a little bit better, let's dig into eight base chain projects. Three of those are curated by Jesse Pollack, which has an extensive list with a lot more projects that don't have tokens yet. And we're also going to go deep on five meme coins on base, which is what everyone is trading right now. Jesse Pollock, as we can see, is the number one contributor for base chain and is Brian Armstrong's right arm. So 
Let's go into the projects I think are the most exciting on base. Number one, Parallel. Parallel is a sci-fi world and card game. Think of Hearthstone meets Magic the Gathering. All you have to do is click on the link to their Twitter. You go on their website, try the game, download it, sign up, and you may be qualifying for an airdrop in the future. Number two, Farcaster. Farcaster fit right into one of Coinbase's main utilities and priorities, which is a decentralized social network. Currently, if you go on Farcaster, that's where you will find all of the alpha of all the meme coins on base, all the best projects on base, and also where people like Jesse and Vitalik are writing daily. You can also qualify for a Farcaster airdrop and it's very, very simple. Click on the link down below, download this app, use it daily, post, repost, interact with people, and that's all you need to qualify for the Farcaster airdrop. Number three is a DeFi protocol called Aerodrome. Aerodrome is the central trading and liquidity marketplace on base chain and the base ecosystem fund led by coinbase ventures has invested in this project if you want to visit aero buy aero or deposit some of your funds in these liquidity pools visit the link down below and now let's talk about the meme coins the first meme coin on base i'm going to talk about is one of the oldest and it's called toshi and toshi is brian armstrong's cat currently toshi is trading at above 200 million dollars market cap and is growing exponentially. In second place, we have Brett. And Brett fits in Matt Fury's world, and Matt Fury has created some of the most iconic memes in crypto and also of internet culture, like Pepe the Frog. Brett is currently sitting at above $300 million in market cap. And if you want to speculate on Brett, just click on this button here, and you go directly to KyberSwap, which is the best place to swap wrapped Ethereum or Ethereum for Brett. The third meme coin is called Normie. And Normie has been catching everyone's attention, especially since Ansem, the very famous meme coin trader, posted about it and added over $100 million in market cap. Normi is currently trading at over $100 million in market cap and the best place for you to trade your Normi is on SushiSwap. The fourth meme coin is called Brian Armstrong and it's just making fun of the founder and CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong. And it's a play on this meta, which is called Ret meta which is also very famous on ethereum and solana this is the first deflationary meme coin on base chain the best place to buy brian armstrong's coin is on uniswap and now finally the fifth meme coin on base i think is very interesting is called the base god the base god is a meme to make fun of all of crypto's false prophets but in this case it's making fun of brian armstrong and treating him like a false prophet and the best place i found to buy the base god is on llama swap if you enjoyed this video and you want to become a better trader and understand crypto even deeper and more please like subscribe and join all of my co-workers dylan sheldon and kyle so you can learn to become a better trader please click on the links down below thank you very much for watching and i see you on the next one